I thought I would start, um, maybe do a walkthrough, um, start with turn one, go through sequence of play, show you some things, how everything works in the game. Um, so let's just start. Let's go to the sequence of play chart here. Uh, first is a preparation sequence where we place union units in the container. Um, again, the units that begin in the container are already there. They have S's on them for start. Um, so they are in there in the container already. Number two, determine union awareness. Again, uh, the notoriety of Mosby is a one. Uh, awareness here would be one as it falls in this union awareness track. Uh, number three, place Mosby and Mosby's Confederacy. Any of these gray circles are considered Mosby's Confederacy. Um, I always like to start off in Goose Creek. I don't know why, it just sounds cool. I just want to start there in Goose Creek. Uh, number four, move union units that are outside union lines. We have none that are outside union lines. Union lines are these dark blue circles um, around the map. Um, we have none on this side of the union line, so we'll skip that step. Uh, recruit Mosby's Raiders. Uh, we go to the recruitment table here. Um, we see Mosby's notoriety is a one, so we'll roll a die. It's a three. Um, so in the one column of three, we have one strength point for Mosby's Raiders. Grab that out of there. Put it over there in the strength point box for Mosby. Um, next, pick action cards. Go to the same recruitment table down here, and we'll see as long as Mosby is healthy, he will get three action cards. The yellow cards are the action cards. We'll draw three of those. Uh, we have Strength Deception, which is used in battle. Uh, it'll help us out in battle. Spurring horses as we can move along in rounds. It'll help us move faster. Uh, Mosby normally has a movement factor of three. So uh, that'll make it four. With that, we're using that card once for movement. And then Pistol Tactics. We can add one and this is actually a whole card where we can hold throughout the whole game so right off the bat we got some good a good card here that we can add one to all our combat die rolls so we want the higher number which is good so those are three decent cards to start off with we'll put them to the side and we'll look back to the sequence of play again and it'll the last one here number seven pick random event cards and the way we do that is we roll a die a two the white cards are the random event cards. We'll draw those and we uh, perform each event card in order right away. So we'll flip the first one over. First one says Union puts Southerners on trains. If Mosby's notoriety is five or more, lose one performance point. If Mosby's notoriety is four or less, we lose two performance points. Well, we just started the game. Notoriety is only a one for Mosby, so this card doesn't affect play. The next event card is a place a large union force. Um, and we'll place a large union force in Winchester, which becomes a permanent part of the union line. So we'll draw one of these uh, large union force markers. And I have to find Winchester here. Let's see. Okay, we found Winchester's over here with this flag. So we'll put that large union force marker, essentially the same effect as these other hexagon shaped um, spaces on the board are considered large union forces. And as we come across those, we'll explain how those work. Basically, it's a constant feeding of troops out of that force rather than the other, the other circle uh, marks on the board for the union line. You have to roll for activation, and uh, you still roll for activation for the large Union force, but it can keep adding more more troops. Um, we'll see that as we go along. So, And we're ready for the next step in sequence of play, which is Mosby's operations. This is where Mosby gets to do some stuff. So we'll start here. Okay, we're ready to start Mosby's operations phase of the, of the first turn. Um, just real quick. Um, I'm pretty sure I have the rules down fairly fairly well. Uh, just um, if I make any mistakes or you guys do anything differently, uh, let me know. Um, I can take it. Um, but I'm going to play the game the way I understand it. Um, and um, 
we'll see how it goes. So, uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to move moves. Be the first thing I'd like to do in operations. I can move, um, and I can. I was looking over here in Warrington Junction, and what I was thinking about doing, since there's a rail line here, I was thinking about maybe trying to demolish this rail line, which will actually give me three performance points up here on the track. So um, what I need to do is move over that way, and you can only travel through roads which are black, pikes which are red, you cannot travel along rail lines. Um, those we can travel one at a time during operations. Um, and we're gonna start by doing that. Go through Brechtertown, Salem, it's like Pig Nut Mountain, Warrington, and uh, you cannot just enter that space there, that part of Union Line. First thing I would have to do to enter that space is probe that line. And the way that works is you roll one die, um, you look at the Union Awareness track, which is on one. If I roll higher than one, higher than whatever is, is on the, whatever the Union Awareness is, I successfully probed that spot. So we're gonna do that. We roll a three, so that's successful. Successful probe there, that warrant injunction. Um, the adjacent spot where Mosby's getting ready to enter. And we draw, draw a force from the cup. And we do have a combat unit here with a strength of four. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll place that inactive side in Warrington Junction and we'll grab a revealed marker, place it in that space. Um, so now we know that we revealed this space, that there is a strength, four combat strength marker in there. Um, probably not best for us to try to move in there and do something. We may activate that unit and have to fight it. Since they have a combat strength of four and our raider strength is only one, we might be in a little bit of trouble. So we're gonna pass up on that spot, uh, maybe move up a little farther, maybe someplace like Herndon Station here and try the same thing. So we'll move along these pikes here, got some roads, uh, move up through Catharpia Creek, Sudley Springs, um, moving along here at Gum Spring, and we're gonna probe here at Herndon Station the same way. Gotta be higher than one, the six, so that's a successful probe. Draw from the cup, and this time we have a courier, um, a non-combat unit, and I'll show you how that works. So we have a courier there in Herndon Station, place some in inactive side down, place a revealed marker, um, we probably can go in there and not have a problem with that courier. So I'll show you how that works now that we know that what's, what's in there. We can move into space, and the first thing you have to do when you move into space is roll for activation. And the way that works is, you, again, you roll against the Union Awareness track. It has to be higher. It is a 2, so it is higher. So I do not activate this unit here. Okay, so the way it works for couriers, if they're not activated, you flip them over and you eliminate them. We have an eliminated unit box up here. Um, if we look on the performance and awareness on me here, we see that Mosby, if he eliminates a courier, he gets one, one performance point. So we move that up to one. Um, and we always check at union awareness, see if that increases here, that does not increase. So still on, on one over here. Um, now, since we're in the space with the reveal marker, we know we have, as of right now, there's no other units. Um, by not activating that unit, it does not activate any other adjacent units, so we can do another um, operation there in that space, and we're in that space we want to be with the rail line, and we're going to go ahead and demolish it. And the way we do that is we grab a demolished railroad marker, uh, put it in the space, always put it underneath the revealed marker so I remember that that space has already been revealed for units. Um, we go to the performance track. We see here that to demolish a rail line, Mosby gets three points. Move that up to four now. Um, but we do see when you demolish a rail line, awareness goes up one. So we raise union awareness. Um, now, what helps with Seeing, well, have we activated any units near this space where we demolished this rail line? 
Uh, a lot going on there when we demolish the rail line, so we could possibly activate units in the area. So we go to this uh, helpful chart here. It's an activation summary, uh, and it helps with operations and rounds. And we go down to the operation you performed, and it walks you through the steps to determine how you roll for activation uh, according to the operation you just performed. So basically, it's all adjacent, um, adjacent attached uh, spaces on the map where you perform the operation, that's where you check, uh, uh, basically inside Union Lines, so uh, we wouldn't be rolling here outside Union Lines. The only We only have really three spaces to check for, um, Drainsville, Hunter's Mill, which is attached and adjacent by this rail line here, and Chantilly. So what we'll do is we'll roll for each space that's attached uh, uh, to this uh, rail line where we uh, demolished it and roll and see if any other units get activated. And the way that works is you have to roll against the union awareness, which is now a two, for eliminate, for, lim for tearing up that rail line. So we have to roll a three or higher to uh, keep quiet in the area. So first we'll roll for Drain Drainville. It's a one, so we activate a unit there in Drainville. And we'll grab one from the cup. And we have a combat unit here, which is a one strength. Place that in Drainville and a revealed marker because now we know what was in that space. And now we'll roll for Hunter's Mills. Another one. So we grab another unit from the cup, activate it. They heard us tearing up that rail line, and we have a blank. Blanks go over here in the unit holding box. And the way that works is as we um, add more units to the cup because of notoriety, uh, most of notoriety going up. We'll throw in these blanks or these four types of units back in the that weren't eliminated back into the cup as well. And then finally, and that was revealed as well that no, there was no unit in that space. And finally, we roll for Chantilly and we roll a six, which is above the union awareness, so we have no activation there in that spot. Um. Okay, so now we enter rounds because we have active. Uh, units, union units on the board, um, and the way that works, the first thing we do is determine initiative in the rounds, and we go to the initiative table, we go by what the union awareness is, which is now a two, and we'll roll a die, and we'll see who has initiative, either the union or Mosby, a four is Mosby, so we go up here and make sure initiative is on Mosby, just to remind us that he has initiative which means he'll get to perform an action first in the round. Uh, but before we do that, we have to see if any other units have been activated since this combat is, unit has been activated. And we go here, on this, again, this helpful chart here, step two of round sequence, step one would be determining initiative. Um, again, it's the same kind of deal. You're checking adjacent, again, the chart will help you, but. I'm not going to go through each, each step in the chart. You can check that out, how that works. Um, but each adjacent that hasn't been revealed, uh, units that are inactive in spaces adjacent, you would check for those. Large union forces adjacent, um, we would check for those. And basically, if we look at this combat unit here, which is the only union unit now activated, that's the unit we'll be checking from. Um, again, we will check Peach Grove being adjacent. We'll check Great Falls being adjacent. We will not check Seneca Fort because it's not inside Union Lines. The Union Line goes this way around Seneca Fort. So basically, and we will not be checking, obviously, we will not be checking the space we're in because that space has already been revealed. So um, the unit has already been revealed in that space. So basically, we're only checking Great Falls and Peach Grove. So we roll for Peach Falls, and we get a three, which is above Union Awareness, no activation there. And uh, Peach Grove, we roll a two. Now there, uh, we activate a unit in Peach Grove, because it's not higher than two, the Union Awareness. And we have another courier. So we put another courier there in Peach Grove. Active side up this time. Um, and we place a revealed marker in the spot. 
Now we're ready to get into the meat of the rounds. Okay, so Mosby has first action in, in the round as he won initiative. Um, so as I look at this situation here, um, Mosby's in pretty good shape. He could, I think what I'm going to do here is move in this space and fight this unit, being they only have a one strength and Mosby's Raider strength is one. So that's even strength there, but I also have some action cards here that'll help me out for in battle. So um, this courier really, really won't hurt me. The only thing it could do is move down here into Fairfax Courthouse, which is a large unit force, and it could activate uh, another unit there. So what I'm going to do as his action, Mosby is going to move into that space with that unit and have combat. And the way it works, and we have a combat procedure chart here that helps you out a lot. A lot of charts on the map, which is really convenient. Um, Basically, you inspect the combat units, and we have one-to-one -one ratio here. Um, you would combine strength if there were more units, uh, Union units in there, you would combine those units. Um, now, anytime Mosby has a, has a uh, chance to, to have combat, he can skedaddle, which means he kind of runs away and hides before the battle starts, and that kind of can hurt him because he can lose performance points for it. You have to make a casualty check for Mosby. He can be wounded. Um, but we're in good shape with this battle as far as odds go, so I'm going to determine, I'm going to keep on moving ahead with this combat here. Um, we see here um, two charts. We would use this Mosby chart if Mosby is the attacker, and the Union chart is if the Union is the attacker. Since Mosby moved in, he is the attacker. So we go by the ratio here, which we both have one strength point. So we go by the one-to-one -one odds. So we have a zero modifier here to the roll. Um, we keep moving down. Next part is the reaction chart. Um, and the reaction chart, what you do is you add together Mosby's notoriety, which is one right now, plus the union awareness, which is a three. So we're over here on this side, we'll be act, act, adding two more to the die roll. So, or two to the die roll rather. So we got zero, two, so we'll be adding two to the die roll, and now we can actually play action cards that modify the die roll as well. Well, some of the cards we have when determining, we have a strength deception card. When determining the die roll odds for combat, increase the strength of Mosby's Raider by one. So we actually can go up here, instead of one to one, the odds would increase to two to one. So we see we add another. To, to the die roll, so that would be plus three. Plus, we're gonna, we also have our pistol tactics card, which is a plus one to all combat die rolls. So now we're gonna add the one here, the two here from this union reaction chart, plus the pistol tactics card. That gives us four to add to the die roll, which is really, really good, um, unless we roll um, either way. When we're in the blue here, we're, we're in good shape. So we're going to roll the dice um, and see what comes out to be. We got a three, we're going to add the four. That gives us a seven. And we have an R2 here, which is a retreat. And we uh, basically eliminate two of the strength points of the unit, which only has one. Um, so basically that entire unit is going to be eliminated there. And we're going to get some decent strength points here. Um, the performance points you get for winning a battle um, if we go to the chart, you get one plus the strength. The strength of the unit was one, so we get two there. Um, then we get, oh, and that increases the union awareness by one, by the way. Now, when you reduce uh, strength points here, um, we actually reduce the whole unit, which was only one. For each strength point you eliminate, you get three more uh, performance points. So one, two, three, we're up to nine. Okay, so if we can, um, but, but we're not finished yet here, obviously, because we still have an active unit on the board, and that's the um, courier here. So I have to deal with him next. It's his turn to do something. Need to check myself real quick. Um, it's not quite the union's turn yet. Um, we go down here at the bottom of the combat procedure chart. Um, if Mosby is still alive, make activation checks. So, um, so we still have a couple more activation checks to make after this combat. 
And again, we go back to where it happened. And the only one where we see it's inactive in the Union lines um, is right here, Great Falls. We have to make another one there. Even though we've made one already, you still make it again. Um, so, so now we're up to three, so it has to be four or higher. Otherwise, we activate another unit. And we are four, so no, no activation there. Now we go to the Courier's um, turn. It's his turn in the round um, to do an action. And we use the mo Union table here, Union Movement table, to figure out what they, uh, these units do. Um, if there was still a combat unit on the table, um, on the map rather, we would uh, you first roll for non-combat units, all the non-combat units, then you roll for the Union unit, combat unit, for the combat units. And um, so uh, you can do it any way, any order you want to do it, but you have to do the non-combat first and then the combat. So right now we have a non-combat unit, the courier, we will roll for his movement. We rolled a four. Um, four is move three spaces toward the nearest Union unit or large force. The closest Union unit or large Union force is the, the um, Fairfax Station, uh, Fairfax Courthouse rather. So we will move into there and I believe they activate a unit. Okay, I was incorrect there. Um, if a picket were to move in that large Union force, he would activate a unit unit but with couriers they are just taken off and thrown back in the cup so there are no more active units on the board so Mosby is now back in rounds okay so if we looked at the performance track if we get one more point um, we can move the notoriety up one uh, which would really be good because we kind of would be where we want to be one ahead actually we could end the turn now and uh, since our notoriety is equal to the game turn we just we would just complete it would be we could move on but we're so close to moving up a notoriety notoriety mark um, we're going to uh, we're probably going to try to do something else here okay i think what i decided to do is just go ahead and demolish another rail line here uh, we see one here in hunter's mills which has already been revealed so any spaces that have already been revealed, you can freely move through them without worrying about activating or probing. Um, I do need to fix something I stated earlier um, about the probing. I, I stated you can't can't just move into a into an um, an area that you have to probe it first, but that's incorrect. Um, um, you can actually move into the area, but you're really taking a chance because you don't know what kind of unit you're going to end up facing. Um, you may end up a six strength point combat unit. Um, but you can move in there, and, and but if you do, you, you, you may activate a unit that may be too strong for you. If you remember earlier when I first probed down here in Warrington Junction, um, this was, a, I believe it's a four combat unit, and I decided it wasn't a good thing to do. Well, if I would have just went in there and activated that unit, I would have had to fight it at one to four odds, which would have been really bad. So it's always good to probe first. Uh, but since we can move right in here to Hunter's Mills, we're going to do that uh, and I keep knocking these markers over um, and we're going to demolish that rail line as well so let's do that um, that's three more points on the performance track two, three moves our notoriety up to two now um, now we got our since we demolished well, we have to check for activation again the adjacent units will be checking for uh we just forgot to move the awareness up for the demolish of the rail line so now we're up to a four so if i roll four or less it activates a unit five or above does not so we got to check for activation again not the ones that have already been revealed that are adjacent but we have to check chantilly inside union lines it's a five so no activation there and the only other one is vienna six so no activation there so moves be safe doesn't um, stir up any trouble um, as far as activating more units and so we can continue in operations okay so what I've decided to do here is disband which means basically I'm gonna end the turn here uh, moves becomes off the board there's no penalty for that if you disband in operations um, and we go here to the end of turn sequence um, flip union units to inactive sides that are active. There are not on the board that are active. Uh, 
discard action cards except toll cards. Um, we'll be holding on to our pistol tactics card, so we will discard this other card. Um, remove Mosby, which we did already, and the Raider Strength Markers. Um, take the right strength markers. We'll be rolling for new strength next turn. Um, we continue here. Check Mosby's status for the next turn. Um, okay, Mosby's not wounded, so um, remember we just completed turn one, so we have to have no, no, notoriety of one or more, and we're at two. So we're looking good there. We're going to advance the game turn marker to game turn two. Um, we're going to reset this for next turn. Um, and we completed turn one, so so far we can, we're doing pretty good. Um, tore up some rail lines, um, had, a, had a combat, um, and we'll have two turn, turn two rather, uh, um, going on here uh, maybe in a day or two. Hope you're enjoying it.